Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War. In the last episode, White Bird Part 1, we protected a laser on a mass driver that was sent into space and linked up with the Arc Bird, which is a massive, like, I wouldn't say massive, uh, <clears throat> I guess low atmosphere satellite thing. I don't know, it's a big thing in space. Now it's got a laser. Who knows how they're going to use that. Maybe they'll use it to shoot down planes. I kind of can't remember. Um, but now we're moving on to mission 7, I think it is. Front line. It says Sand Island. We're back at Sand Island. Yeah, you people are like the plague, you know that? I don't like this guy. When you return to Sand Island, this happens. What happens? A large combined force of Yuktobanian vessels and aircraft has been detected advancing in the ocean directly towards Sand Island. Oh, great. West. Our intelligence has confirmed the presence of amphibious assault Holy crap. within the oncoming fleet. We believe the enemy's goal is to conduct Woo. a landing operation on Sand Island and capture this base. That's a lot of boats. Close with the enemy, disrupt landing operations, and suppress their naval gunfire directed at our forces ashore. Oh look, we got three fighter wings. It's not just us, it's us and two others. All F5s though. Okay. We'll see how much they actually help. Alright, so we got a lot of frigates, hovercraft, landing ships, some F-18s. More F-18s, more frigates. And two destroyers in the back. Alright. So this is gonna be an anti-ship mission. Even if this turns into a ground war. I am prepared to fight for this island to the bitter end. As my advance guard, I want you to forget everything else and concentrate on dealing a lethal blow to the incoming enemy invasion fleet. We'll be deploying everything we've got. Launch every aircraft capable of anti-ship combat yep. regardless of combat experience. All right, well, let's see. Let's go to the buy. I know we've unlocked a couple planes at the end of the last episode. So, all right, we're our progress on the F-20A is still only about a third of the way there, so we can't see what the third uh, variation is. The MiG-21's got those rocket pods, not really useful. <clears throat> the F-4's got napalm, not really useful. A-6 has those large air-to-ground bombs. That might be useful, but I really hate flying the A-6. Oh, we have the F-16! Okay. Well, they have small unguided bombs. How much did it cost? 12,000? We could actually afford like three of them. Because remember, we gotta, um, we gotta deck out our wingmates. But if we buy an F-16, that frees up the F-20 that somebody else can fly. Oh, we got the F-18 with anti-ship, long-range anti-ship missiles. 13,000. It's just a little bit more than the F-16. I think we're going to buy these. The F-18 is just boss. And that's it. Then it loops back around to the F-20. Okay, we're going to buy an F-18. And... Oh, we can only buy... We can only afford two. That's fine. We're going to buy two F-18s. Okay. Because I want to... I want to unlock the additional variants to this, too. So we could actually sell the F-20. I don't think we really want to do this, though. Can I sell these? Oh, wow, I can even sell the F5s that we started with and get 8,000 per. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell two of these. Now let's go back to buy. We should be able to buy two more F18s and we'll have a full squad of F18s. There we go. We've got four F-18s now. I love a, I love a uniform squad. All right, start mission. Now, unfortunately, that means we're not really going to continue working on the F-20s um, progress, but that's okay. So we'll take the F-18. Do we have multiple paint jobs yet? You'll see in the bottom, kind of in the middle of the screen, there's a box that says color, and then it says OS, which stands for OSEA. Um, it looks like that's the only paint job that we have for anything right now, but you eventually will unlock more paint jobs. Um, also, <clears throat> on the right-hand side, I forgot about this before, 
but where it shows the squadron, underneath Archer, you'll see two categories. One says air to air and one says air to ground with kind of like these red progress lines. If you look real closely, you'll see like a, a hash mark. This kind of like your recommended strength. So what this is saying is right now, if I take the F-18, it's going to boost my squadron's air to ground to just shy of, or I'm sorry, air to air, to just shy of what's recommended for this mission. But the air to ground is not even halfway. So you see like as I switch to different planes, like those things change. So obviously just by me taking the F-20 would put us at like twice as much air to air support as this as is recommended for this mission. So you'll see as I take this F-18, that's going to go up a little bit. And now when I go to F-18 for edge, that's going to take our air to air over the recommended and air to ground is almost there. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? And by putting chopper in the F-18, we've now met our suggested air to ground strength. And by putting uh, Archer or Grim in F-18, we've well surpassed both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Now, obviously, those are just suggested uh, squadron strengths. Really, you can probably get away with just about anything if you're good enough. But it's good to know that we uh, should be more than equipped for this mission with this uh, wing composition. Alright. I love me the F-18. Until we get the F-22, of course. Then I love me an F-22. Oh, it just looks so good. <laughs> oh, Chopper. Oh my god, that's a lot of targets. Look at the radar. Alright, we're gonna disperse. Yes, I agree. Disperse and special weapons approved. No, no, no fear. All right, these hovercrafts go down really easily. One missile. Yeah, don't worry, bro. We got this. AH-64 is an Apache. Easy. They're not gonna win, baby. Don't worry about it. Missile boat. I'm gonna take out these two landing ships, and then I'll go back and get those ones that I passed. Oh, there's a—it's a frigate. Let's see. Does two missiles take out a frigate? Nope. Oh crap! The Synfaxi. Oh no! I gotta—I want to take out these helicopters. We got time. We got time. I'm getting into that helicopter. Now we gotta climb. Unrestricted climb. There we go. We're over. We're over seven thousand. All right, we gotta wait. Oh, is that the ASAT Arkbird? Whoa, hello. Oh, the Ark Bird destroyed the missile. Yeah. That's the laser. That's the, uh, the laser on the Ark Bird. Heck yeah. Alright, so we don't have to worry a bit now about the ballistic missiles.
Oh, are these the F-18s? Yep. Oh, so they found the Synfaxi. Heck yeah! We haven't even used our special weapons yet. We should probably do that. There we go. Long range air to ship missile. Long range air to ship missile. Oh, those take out frigates in one shot. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I hear it. Oh, these guys are done. One, two, and three. That's the destroyer. Uh, they're shooting more than one missile? I don't know if they can shoot three missiles at once. Let's climb just to be safe. We got F-18s to deal with anyway. Oh crap, that one might hit me. Nope. That's good, we can deal with these guys above 5,000 feet. Oh shoot, don't stall. One F-18 left. Ten seconds to impact. I gotta watch my altitude. I'm still over 6,000 feet, so I'm good. Alright, good. Wow, yeah, look. Bro, you had so much time to get over 5,000 feet. Launch two anti-ship missiles. That destroyer should be done. Boom. That's it. Radar's clear. Now what? There's no enemy forces left. I'll see if I can spot the laser. I don't know if it's going to be in front of me or not. Oh, there it is. They hit the sub? Uh-oh. I think we've got a boss battle. I was not expecting this this early. We sh probably should have saved some of our special weapons. Okay. Well, we've got one anti-ship missile left. There we go. It's got SAMs and AA guns on the surface, and it just launched... Oh, great, it's launching fighters. Okay. Alright, we're at 78% damage. Holy crap. We're almost dead. We need to, we need to do some hit-and-run tactics on this thing. Oh, crap, it's launching a missile. Ooh. 
All right, we took out the Sam. The F-35 is giving me problems. Oh, crap. Climb, climb, climb. Oof. All right, just made it. Oh, it's a Harrier. What happened to the F-35? Oh, it's right behind me. And you done. Yeah. I hope that gets that Sam. Okay, Sam's destroyed. We're just gonna keep chipping away at it. One more run, run, one more run, come on. Oh, don't hit. Go, go, go. Climb. No, 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 I'm not gonna climb. I wanna do one more run. I can do it. Oh, shoot. Climb. Three, four, five. All right, we're good. There's two more fighters on us. I'm just gonna ignore the fighters. We need to get down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one target left. Oh no, it's- oh my god, alright, so we got all the hard points. Now we just gotta focus on the sub itself. What is shooting at me? Oh, these planes have to go. Those F-35s just will not give up. Don't stall, come on! Oh no, we're out of missiles! Bro. Very impressive, Captain. Alright. We gotta finish off the sub with guns only. And that was easier than I thought. Okay, whoo! It's still alive. No, it's not! Is it? Oh no, it's going down. Oh, my heart was going. Scratch one missile sub. Yeah, unlike Ace Combat 7, when you run out of missiles in this game, they don't, like, start replenishing. Like, that's it. You're out of ammo. So you really gotta be more careful with your missile reserves than I've been. No landing? The Arkbird was successfully employed over the forward edge of the battle area. The enemy amphibious force attacking Sand Island was repelled and their invasion plans halted. The underwater carrier Synfaxi, a lethal enemy threat, was engaged and destroyed by the superior firepower of the Arkbird. That's right. Having lost the support of the Synfaxi, the remaining Yuktabanian forces retreated. Furthermore, we are requesting reinforcements from Central Command to replace our squadron members lost in combat. All right, I think, uh, I think now is probably a good time to launch an offensive, what do you think? We just won a major victory, took out a, a huge enemy threat. I think it's time we push across the ocean and start uh, taking things to their side. How's How are we doing on progress with the F-18? We got almost halfway there. New aircraft available for purchase. New aircraft available for... New aircraft available for purchase. We just unlocked three aircrafts. Aircraft. That's the debris from the sub. Uh oh. Well, it looks like uh, either it did survive, or there's more than one. We'll have to, uh, we'll see going forward, but that was definitely still a sub. 
Um, Alright, so that was Mission 7, Frontline. That's the title for Mission 8. Handful of Hope. Alright. Uh, but yeah, so that was that one. That's actually a lot more fun. I, I prefer the air-to-air -air missions. Though, I guess some of the air-to-ground missions can be fun. Fighting in open water like that is kind of boring. Like, there's no terrain to worry about or anything. But, um, I love the concept of having to fight targets that are on the surface while also needing to get above a certain altitude. Honestly, I wish the... I guess they do this for people who aren't as good at the game, uh, have the, the floor uh, 5,000 feet for the ballistic missile. I wish it was higher, honestly. It should be like... I don't want to say 10,000, maybe that's a little high, but if it only takes a couple seconds to get above 5,000, I think it would be cooler if it was at an altitude that was higher, so that you actually, like, needed to plan your climb, because if you wait till those last, like, 5 or 10 seconds to start climbing, now you can get away with that, but if it was a higher altitude, you wouldn't, and I think that would make for a little, little more interesting gameplay. Anyway, um, I still love it, it's, it's interesting. To have to, like, stay high, but you're trying to th kill things that are down low. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing that again in future missions. So thank you guys for watching this one, Mobius 1 here, and I will see you in the next one.